Welcome to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. We have an important midterm election coming up, and with that is an important race for Senator. Bob Menendez is running for re-election. Bob Hugan is the Republican running against him. But there are six independent candidates, and in a moment, in our mission to introduce you to all of the candidates, you'll meet one. Her name is Tricia Flanagan, candidate for U.S. Senate in New Jersey. And thank you so much for being here. As, as I do with all the candidates that come on the show for the first time, I'd just like you to introduce yourself to the viewers and the voters. Sure, and thank you for having me. It's a, like you said, it's a pivotal election, and we have many candidates running, but the most important issue is that we need, in my opinion, a MAGA majority to keep the momentum going from what the American public, what the American people voted for in 2016. And I'm the U.S. Senate candidate from New Jersey that can make that happen. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I have other platform positions besides being a woman. I'd never ask you to vote for me just because I'm a woman. But if we can make history in the process, it's important to note that I would be the first woman ever elected to the U.S. Senate from the state of New Jersey. But bes besides that, I bring my 21 years of experience in health care policy, in uh, working with the Affordable Care Act and seeing how that doesn't work for anybody in America, and I look at this as an opportunity for New Jersey to lead the way. Well, let's get to some issues, because you said um, you said you're a MAGA candidate, and that's mm -hmm. a Make America Great Again candidate, so Correct. you are a big supporter of Donald Trump. And I've, I've, that's true, right? Yeah. And so I think one of the knocks against your candidacy is that if you siphon away Republican votes from Bob Hugan, he can't win. And an independent has never won in a race for this office. So the narrative goes that you can't win, so why would you hurt someone who can take down Bob Menendez mm -hmm. for the Republicans? Okay, right. Let's unpack a couple of issues there. So the first issue is that, there, that an independent may never have won this particular office in New Jersey, but there have been 51 independents that have won seats in Congress in our nation's history. Let's look at the independents on the Democrat side, Bernie Sanders basically had the Democratic uh, nomination. Uh, that's a whole other issue. But when you look at Bernie Sanders, when you look at Joe Lieberman, who was the vice presidential candidate for the Democrats, he was an independent. We have a very strong history in this country of electing independents to Congress. I'd like to be the independent Republican that makes the difference. I was going to say, are you really an independent, though? You're a Republican, right? Well, uh, co correct. Personally, I'm still a card-carrying Republican, as Bernie Sanders is uh, a Democrat. The, the issue in Congress, it ma your party affiliation matters when you get to your caucus. You're going to either caucus with the Republicans or the Democrats. As an independent, what that means is I'm not beholden to the establishment. There's a difference between an establishment Republican and in New Jersey, what that really means is a Republican in name only. But you would caucus with the Republicans. Correct. You would caucus with the Absolutely. Republican if you win. And so l let's talk about what would happen if you were elected as opposed to Bob Menendez or Bob Hugan. What is the key issue that people should look at and say, that's why you should vote for Tricia Flanagan. Mm -hmm. Well, the first and most important thing is that I not only support President Trump, I support his agenda that the American people elected. They voted for that agenda. Well, what does that agenda mean? It, mean, it means, for me, one of my key platforms is, like I said, health care. Uh, health care reform and repeal was uh, shot down on the Senate floor by one Republican in name only vote. We know that that was Senator John McCain. Uh, when we look at the slim majority we have right now to support President Trump, Trump's policies, we need a MAGA majority, not the slim majority that we have right now. And so we need a candidate that's committed to those causes and those values. New Jersey is not as blue as everyone thinks it is, and we already see the momentum that is moving forward with the agenda for uh, national security, for immigration reform, for the health care issues that I just mentioned, uh, for uh, Second Amendment issues, and let's go there. Pro life issues. There are two critically important bills that are coming to the Senate floor, the Born Alive Bill and the Heartbeat Bill. And I'm committed to making sure that we can take the biggest bite out of Roe v. Wade that we've been able to take so in a the, long time. The foundation for your premise 
is that Bob Hugan wouldn't support the president, that the Bob Hugan wouldn't vote with Republicans. Do you have proof of that? Oh, absolutely. I have Bob Hugan's own words. Uh, NewJersey.com uh, runs article after article. NewNorthJersey.com ran an article that uh, showed that Bob Hugan not only embraces uh, abortion, he advertises that he's pro-choice. He also has run away from Trump. He's run away from President Trump's endorsement. He doesn't seek it, and he is actively campaigning against against his platform. Uh, that shows you right there how Bob Hugan go. running away from Donald Trump, as mm -hmm. you say, is that the reason you're running? It's not the only reason I'm running, but it's the reason I have such pa new, renewed passion for it. Again, we need, New Jersey can be the next break in the blue wall. If Bob Hugan is a real Republican, is he going to help that happen? We need to make sure that the $25 million, uh, excuse me, the $250 million that have been spent on the Mueller witch hunt, we need to make sure that our country goes into the direction of what we need to accomplish for health care reform, for immigration reform. Uh, Bob Hugan, in his own words, has said he, he uh, uh, is in favor of continuing the Mueller probe. But it sounds probe. like you're running against Bob Hugan. You're not running against Bob Menendez. Well, I, I'm running against both. And the issue issue is that if Bob Hugan is embracing the liberal platform that he speaks of in his own words, then he and Menendez are just two sides of the same liberal coin. So when I want, run against one platform, I'm running against both. And the true Republican platform has to go back to the constitutional issues that we need to look at in Congress, a constitutionally protective lens, uh, a, a, a back to fiscal sanity, back to health care reform that I mention again. Donald Trump has stayed out of this race. Mm -hmm. And he's chosen to get involved in certain races. You told me a moment ago you are courting his support. If he supports Bob Hugan, mm -hmm. thinking that Bob Hugan has a better chance of winning, would you drop out? I would not drop out, and I'll tell you why. It's because I think that true Republicans need a voice in this race. And regardless, let's talk about the numbers for a second. You mentioned that uh, there's an argument out there that Bob Hugan, that I'm taking votes away from Bob Hugan, and that will give Menendez the seat. Well, when you look at the Monmouth poll that recently came out, 68% of New Jerseyans are still undecided. There are over 2 million registered independent voters in New Jersey that skew Republican. There are There's a MAGA segment that doesn't call themselves establishment Republican. The establishment sector that Bob Hugan represents only equals 12.8% of the electorate. There are going to be those that go down with Bob Menendez no matter what, and there's going to be that establishment sliver that sticks with Bob Hugan. There's a huge core in the middle that skews right of center, and that's my demographic. And if we stick together, and if we unite in all of the causes that we just talked about, that's the win. Thank you so much. I appreciate you Thank coming you. in today. Tricia Flanagan, candidate for U.S. Senate in New Jersey. New Jersey Matters continues right after this with a program that helps those who are arrested for an opioid addiction get help instead of jail time. We'll be right back.